Tonight we have lots of visitors and we would like to welcome those members of the Mitchell County School Board and the Bacon and Charter School Board and our superintendent, Mr. Vic Hill. If you would stand, please. Thank you for coming tonight. We appreciate your leadership in our campus. Thank you. And I was excited tonight to see so many alumni here tonight. If you are a Baconton Blazer alumni, would you please stand? Thank you for being here tonight. This is the part that our graduates are excited about because there's a lot of money that they've been awarded for scholarships and we're happy tonight to recognize them. Leah, would you please stand? Leah Ashton Brock, the Camilla Lyons Club presented her a $500 scholarship and Mitchell EMC awarded her a $1,000 James C. Brim Memorial Scholarship. Leah also was offered a presidential scholarship to Berry College and as the star student, Leah is receiving a check tonight from the Bank of Camilla. Congratulations, Leah. Earlier today, we were happy to announce that Kyle Parks, if he'll stand, he was awarded the Rotary Club Scholarship for $1,000. Congratulations, Kyle. <laughs> Salem, would you stand? Salem Tennyson was offered a scholarship by Andrew College for her outstanding work on the math competition team that was formed this year at our school. Salem also received scholarship offers from Berry College and Brunel University. Congratulations, Salem. <laughs> Miss Emily Barentine, if she would stand. Emily received a scholarship offer from Andrew College. Congratulations, we appreciate that. That's good job. <laughs> William Sullivan, would you stand? Young Harris College has offered a faculty scholarship of $14,000 annually to Williams Jennings Sullivan II, and Salem International University has offered him an opportunity to sign a letter of intent to play baseball. William has also received a scholarship offer from Reinhardt College. Congratulations, Will. <laughs> we have several more scholarships that will be presented tonight. Um, over $10,000 in local cash scholarships will be awarded to this class, and that is a great help for our kids who are all ready to go off to college. Our first scholarship that we would like to give tonight is the Camilla Kiwanis Club Scholarship. They present an annual scholarship each year to one of our outstanding students, and tonight their recipient is William Sullivan. Proud tonight to have a representative from Darton College. She's here to tonight to present a Dean Scholarship. Ms. Cricket Wright, if you'll come forward. In an effort to provide quality educational programs, services, and opportunities, Darton College is pleased to offer 20 academic scholarships to incoming freshmen that have demonstrated outstanding academic achievement. The scholarship is worth the total cost of in-state tuition and mandatory fees for the fall and spring semesters. To be eligible, students must be a current graduating senior with a college prep seal. They must graduate with an academic GPA of a 3.0, have a minimum combined score of 1,000 on the SAT critical reading and math or an ACT composite of 22 and show evidence of community and school involvement. This year's Dean Scholar Award goes to Alyssa Bell. Hold that if you'll present right here in the middle because they'll take a picture right here. Okay. Turn and face that camera. 
Thank you so much. We appreciate that. Congratulations, Alyssa. As most of you parents know, Chick-fil-A is a big deal on the Bakington campus. On Fridays, we love to have Chick-fil-A, and we're happy tonight to have Mr. Lawrence Knighton from Chick-fil-A to come and present a scholarship. Good evening, everyone. I am uh, excited about being here tonight since I've been in Bakington, well, I'm actually the pastor of St. James in Bakington, as well as the marketing and sales director for Chick-fil-A. I am honored tonight to be able to present this scholarship uh, to one of the students who definitely deserves it. This is our first year doing this. We're partnering with some school systems in and around the state, and we chose the uh, Mitchell County uh, Bakington Charter School to start off with. And the recipient tonight, the first recipient uh, for this 2012 year, is Leah Brock, who has demonstrated uh, serious leadership as I looked through her essay. And uh, we thought it would be uh, a great help to offer her $750 from Chick-fil-A in Albany. Congratulations. Thank you. We appreciate Chick-fil-A and all they do. They give back so much, and our, our students take that money from Chick-fil-A fundraisers, and they give it back to the community. And we think it's a great partnership for Bakington and Chick-fil-A to work together to give back. Mr. and Ms. Reggie Bostick are here tonight to present the Cleve Bostick Memorial Scholarship. This is Ms. Jeannie Bostick. Good evening. Um, this is such a bittersweet night, and I know all of you are very excited to be here to see your friends, family, and everyone here to congratulate this class, a very spirited class it seems to be. Um, I've heard from all of you, and I just want to say that we will be praying blessings over you. Our family um, decided when we lost our son back in 2002 that we wanted to start a foundation in his memory because he too loved life and loved the spirit of giving back and loved the spirit of helping others and just wanted to had plans to come back to Mitchell County and be a um, part of this county and he loved this county very much and so uh, we decided to form a foundation, and we actually offer scholarships to all the schools in Mitchell County. And we have a committee of seven members who are our foundation board. And they have told us that this has been the most difficult year in trying to decide exactly who should get those scholarships this year. The things that are looked for are attributes like our son Cleve, who was very kind, very gentle, very loving, very giving, who was compassionate, and I could go on and on. And y'all don't hesitate to brag on your children like I'm bragging on mine right now because um, it, it's such an honor, and God gave us that precious gift of two wonderful children. But tonight our committee has selected um, a person that seems to be very worthy of this and seems to have the attributes that Cleve had. And so it is our honor and our pleasure and a, bitter, a bittersweet memory as we offer in honor of Cleve, uh, Reggie Cleve Bostick, Jr., this scholarship to Leah Ashton Brock. Thank you so much to the Bostick family. We appreciate that. At this time, Mr. Doyle Cranford is going to come forward, and he's going to present the 2012 Tommy Rucker Scholarship Athlete Award. Good evening. 
A few years ago, it was just a spark in the mind of a very generous Blazer family to create a scholarship that recognizes athletes who have represented our school's missions on the athlete field. Who have represented our school's mission on the athletic fields while, re while maintaining a high level of excellence in the classroom. At honors night last week, athletes in our school were many of the ones receiving the highest honors. Tonight, it is my privilege to present a scholarship named in honor and memory of a man who loved athletics and a man who recognized the value and character that students gain when they participate in team sports. Tonight, we want to honor our Blazers and the Tommy Rucker family through the rep presentation of the Tommy Rucker Scholar Athlete Award. The athlete we're honoring tonight has been an outstanding student throughout his Bacon and Blazer career, a leader on the playing field as well as in the classroom. He has a model, he has been a model of excellence in sports and academics. Among our BCCS students, he shines due to his exemplary character. A man of good citizenship and manners, BCCS has been well represented wherever he has traveled, whether it be by bus or by boat. It is my honor and privilege tonight to award the Tommy Rucker Scholar Athlete Award to a most deserving blazer, Kyle Parks. Thank you, Dole. We appreciate you doing that on behalf of the Rucker family. Tonight, we're going to invite William to come down. William Sullivan is going to present the Pat Pinson Memorial Scholarship. As one of the founders of Bakington Community Charter School, my grandmother, Pat Pinson envisioned an educational opportunity for students that would prepare them academically as well as develop strong character and values. She placed great value on being well-rounded, hospitable, civic-minded, and educated. She was the kind of person who never failed to offer assistance to someone in need. She was forever looking out for the good of others. She blazed a path that, and has passed the torch to all of us to carry forward. Her legacy will live on. Our family has established a Pat Pinson Memorial Scholarship to be awarded each year to the graduate who most embodies the characteristics Pat Pat had and wanted to pass on to others. Our family is pleased to present this scholarship to a graduate who demonstrates many of the characteristics of her grandmother. It is my privilege tonight to award the 2012 Pat Pinson Memorial Scholarship to my friend, classmate, and teammate, Kyle Parks. She would have loved to go fishing with you, Kyle. She would have loved that. We're going to invite Miss Donna Shiver to come forward, and she's going to represent our Grandparents Club, which is a wonderful support for the Baconton Blazers, and we're happy to have them here tonight. Good evening. Tonight, um, I have the privilege of giving a $1,000 scholarship to Richard Watson. Congratulations, Richard, and thank you so much to our Grandparents Club. They do great work on our campus. Good job. Thank you. 
Many of you sitting in our audience tonight are members of the PTO, and all of those fundraisers that you do throughout the year help provide this particular scholarship that will be awarded right now by Ms. Jennifer Barnett. And she'll come forward on behalf of the PTO. Thank you. I'd like to begin by congratulating the class of 2012 on your achievement. I wish the best to each and every one of you. The PTO Vision Scholarship is awarded annually to one female and one male recipient. Members of the senior class must undergo an interview process in order to receive this scholarship. I'd like to thank the members of our scholarship committee this year, Mr. Mike Bankston, Ms. Lisa Carraway, Ms. Marty Green, and Ms. Melissa High. It gives me great pleasure to present this scholarship in the amount of $1,000 to Leah Ashton Brock. I'd like to thank all of our BCACS families, faculty, and staff for always supporting the PTO and its ongoing efforts. Thank you, Ms. Jennifer. We'd like to welcome Ms. Carol Hayes to the stage at this time, and she's going to talk to us about the faculty scholarship. It is my pleasure to stand before you tonight to represent our staff and faculty. Um, in the year 2004, we developed a faculty and staff scholarship fund that is um, compiled by payroll deductions each month. It is um, such an honor to work with people who are willing to put, put themselves and their finances out there beyond high school. Um, it really shows how much they care about these students and what they're doing and that they believe in the future. Um, we will be presenting $2,000 worth of scholarships tonight, one $1,000 scholarship and two $500 scholarships. It is a very detailed process to um, qualify for this, um, this scholarship. You really need to be a leader. Um, it's based on your grade point average, your um, activities, what you've been involved in through high school. Um, there's an essay that is written, and there are also teacher recommendation forms that are filled out. So they have a lot of deadlines to meet, and um, they really have done a great job this year. Uh, I also have had the pleasure of spending Friday mornings with this class. And um, I love senior breakfast time. This is a very sweet class. I have great memories of you. I love that you can walk in the door and leave everything that is busy and stressful and whatever's going on, all the things you've kind of giggled about tonight, that you just come in and relax and have a good time. I would say that we probably put away over two or 3,000 chicken nuggets this year. What do you think? <laughs> Um, but it is a special time. Um, remembering you getting ready for homecoming and doing the Bernie, practicing for that was really fun. Field day was awesome. The big wet group hug that I got from everybody at the end and made my day. So I'm going to miss you guys. But it's my pleasure to, um, on behalf of our faculty and staff, present the first scholarship for $1,000 to Miss Leah Brock. The next scholarship for $500, I'd like to present to William Sullivan. <laughs> it 
And the final $500 scholarship is presented to Kyle Parks. Congratulations to each one of you, and thank you to all of our faculty members who participate in that each month. It's a great blessing for our students. This year's valedictorian has worked harder than anyone to receive this honor. She has spent countless nights studying instead of going out with friends and working on projects instead of sleeping in. She has tried her best in everything she does, not only in high school, but throughout elementary school also. She never gave up and always gave 110% to everything she does, not only in her schoolwork, but in clubs, church, and being there for friends and family. She will help anyone with anything she can, no matter how hopeless it seems. I have truly enjoyed having her as my best friend throughout high school. I don't know where I would be without her patience, love, and kindness. I remember constantly asking her to teach me to do everything we were learning in statistics. I definitely wouldn't have survived with that class without her. <laughs> she would always help me no matter what. If you needed help, she would drop everything just to help. She put up with me through everything, boys, school, and other pointless problems. She is a truly strong, determined, and smart girl. She deserves everything she will get in the future, and I know she will work hard and become very successful in what she does. We are proud to introduce the valedictorian for the class of 2012, Leah Ashton Brock. I say that weird. class of 2012, congratulations, we made it. It's hard to believe our years here at Bakenton Community Charter School are coming to an end tonight. I know we have all been counting down the days since, well, let's be honest, since the beginning of the year. But I feel certain I'm not alone in saying I wish I could add just a few more days to that countdown we have in Mr. Brian Brooks's classroom. It doesn't matter what we try though, we are about to become graduates of Bakenton Community Charter School. In Oh, The Places You'll Go, Dr. Seuss says, with brains in your head and feet in your shoes, you can steer yourself in any direction you choose. How true is that statement? With brains in our head and feet in our shoes, I feel certain that each and every one of us can steer ourselves in any direction we choose. That direction for some of us is college, for some of us it's the military, and yet for others it's the start of a career. No matter what the path, let's remember our time here with our classmates. Cherish these moments. It's hard to believe that after all the memories we have shared, it is time to look at each other and know it is all over. This may seem like an ending, but it's really a beginning, a beginning that we are all prepared to spring into. I challenge each of us to take the dedication, ability to laugh, and have fun in the worst of situations and the knowledge we've gained. Take this all and use it to become successful wherever we go. With all the changes Bakinson has experienced as it continuously grew through the past 12 years, it is no surprise that this isn't the same class the seven charter members started with in first grade. However, I'm very proud to be graduating with the 20 classmates sitting here tonight. We have all brought something unique to the class of 2012. William, we've been together since pre-K, and I can't believe after tonight I'll no longer see you every day. I'll miss you, buddy. Alyssa Bell, we've been friends through thick and thin. Of all our memories, I'll never forget our trips to Panacea. I love you, girl. Caitlin, what will I do with myself? I'll no longer have someone to share my advice with. Kaylee, I'll never forget you. I'll especially never forget your clumsiness. Miranda, I'll always remember you as my loud friend. I love you, girl. Michaela, I'll never forget your random singing in homeroom. Gage, I'll always remember your love for all the girls in our class. 
Ben, what will I do without you checking my attitude every day? Olivia, we've been together since day one, but I'll always remember our time as Girl Scouts. Jasmine, who can forget that time you used the polka dots on my bedroom wall as a twister board? Emily, I'll always remember you as the quiet girl in our class. Alyssa Watson, how can I forget our days as little girls riding the golf cart around your yard? Shanika, there's no way to forget you. Girl, you're hilarious. Salem, I'll always remember our healthy competition over grades. Richard, well, the whole class will remember you always. <laughs> Joe, who can forget that horn that makes the windshield wipers work? <laughs> Justin, I'll never forget how sweet you were to all of us. Kyle, you're forever known as fish boy to me. Congratulations again on winning that state championship. Tyler, so, sorry for always asking you what time it was repeatedly. That's what I'll always remember. And Bryce, what will I do without my daily hug? I will miss each and every one of the, my classmates, cherish the memories we have together, and always remember I'm here for y'all. And now to our teachers, parents, friends, and family, we would be nothing without your love and support through the years. Thank you for always believing in us. I want to say a special thank you to my mama. Without you, I wouldn't be the person I am today. Thanks, Mom, for always believing in me and being there for me no matter what. I love you. You're on your own, and you know what you know, and you're the guy who will decide where to go. And will you succeed? Yes, you will indeed. 98 and 3 fourths percent guaranteed. Now, guys, let's graduate. Needless to say, it has been my privilege to teach all of you both biology and anatomy. We've had so much fun dissecting this year. Everything from the cow eye all the way to the rat and the pig. Remember all those fun things that we've done this year? Um, I've been very close to this class, and it's been my honor for y'all to call me Mama Luke. I thought that was one of the sweetest things that y'all could possibly do. You're also the only class that has done that, so you will always be special in my mind. They have requested that I do a demonstration that I started doing for them in 10th grade. And so I need to explain to all of you that do not understand what I'm doing, what I'll be doing. Um, a protein is an enzyme that acts as a catalyst. And it speeds up a reaction, and it can be used over and over again, but it is never used up. And so at this time, because they requested that I do this, this is for them, so please don't think I'm totally crazy when I do this. <laughs> Did I speed this reaction up? Was I used up? Can I do it again and again? Okay, this was for them. <laughs> Y'all didn't think I was gonna bring it, did you? Even though you said I needed to do it. <laughs> now on a serious note, uh, I do hope that I've been a catalyst as well as all your other teachers in your life that has influenced all of you to set very high goals and to never settle for anything but your best, and always never, ever, ever give up. Parents, I don't know if you're aware of this, but I have blessed your children daily. Um, I've used a book entitled Bless Your Children, and it has been my privilege to bless them. If I forgot to bless them one day, they'd say, Miss Luke, you know,